Dr. Owen said climate change and the globalization of economic systems are an enormous challenge for societies that demand global collaboration, cooperation and a global perspective. The students are mainly studying in NAST and UNAM and also TVET institutions that are distributed around the countries and in other SASCO member states. The students are also studying in universities of um, like Zambia, University of Botswana and South Africa, Witwatersrand, University of Pretoria and all the others. So the reason why we are very excited about green hydrogen is because we share one planet and our planet is already struggling. Saskal has five projects that is climate change, biodiversity, conservation, food security, water security, sustainable forests and woodlands. Every project has at least two South African partners supported by Germany. The director of Global Change Institute, Professor Francois Engelbrecht, said Southern Africa is warming up drastically and the region is likely to become generally drier. Namibia and all the other Southern African countries need to realize that this drought, especially the very dry conditions and the heat waves from January to March this year, is a warning sign for us. This is a sign of how our climate system is changing because of climate change. And unfortunately, for as long as global warming continues, we are going to continue to see further increases in temperature here in Southern Africa. We are going to see more heat waves. In fact, in the next 10 years, we are going to see heat waves of an unprecedented impact in Southern Africa, combined with drought. Our biggest risk here is, is longer-lasting droughts, droughts that last for, say, four to six years. Professor Engelbrecht said this poses a threat to the way people and wildlife live. Saskal is a joint initiative of Angola, Botswana, South Africa, Zambia, Namibia and Germany to add value for the whole Southern African region in response to the challenges of global change to reduce risk and improve livelihoods.